your title. But you want to look at Yahweh Elon Yasha, who is king of all kings, and call him Lord. And a king cannot be a lord in his capacity. How can Queen Elizabeth be a lady in her capacity? Why you can't call her a lady? Why you want to call the Almighty Yahweh? Who is the I and love, the one that inhabits eternity? Who is the eternal father? The father of fathers. Huh? And you want to call him Lord? And he is able to name himself. And he named himself Yahweh Elon Yahshua. So if you don't get on board, you'll be shut out in everlasting darkness. Read. And the Sadducees asked Yahshua. Yes. Say, Master. Master. Luke 20, verse 28. Yes. Who is it wrote on this if any man's brother died? Yes. And wife. And he died with No, you can stop there. Like, I just want you to repeat the part that says, all right, that's it. So, Kesh, you know. So, they are going to. <coughs> not his own household. Just like in our own household, they are saying he's not Yahshua anymore. The same spirit came on over, just like when the same spirit came on over and played the children of Israel and caused them to be the golden God. The spirits that died. That's why you have to you take the glory and the gospel of Yahshua to change the spirit. The pastor and the physical man can't interact with his spirit. It takes all the spirit to interact with the spirit in man. Read. Numbers 20 and 40. Yes. And Moses sent messengers from Kadesh yes. unto the king of Edom. Unto the king of Edom. Thus said thy brother Israel. Look at this opposition. He said, Thus said thy brother Israel. Thou knowest all the travail that had befallen us. So he was relating to them all that he went, they, they went down into Egypt and were enslaved to Pharaoh. Read. How our fathers went down into Egypt, yes. and we have dwelt in Egypt a long time. 430 years. And the Egyptians vexed us and our fathers. Yes. And when we cried unto Yahweh, yes. he heard our voice, yes. and sent an angel, and hath brought us forth out of Egypt. You remember what Yahweh said in Exodus 20, verse 20, verse 20, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way. Provoke him not, provoke him that they should not oppose him because he will not pardon your transgression. For my name is in him. And that was Yahushua with the name, who is the one who transfigured into this angel in the cloud. And he led them out because Yahweh is a man of his word who promised to bless the seed of Abraham. And they will be a stranger in the land and he promised to bless them. So even though they opposed, Yahweh was saying, I have to live up to my promise to Abraham. I still have to take them out. Right. Read. And behold. And behold. We are in Kadesh. We are in Kadesh. A city in the uttermost of thy border. Yes. Let us pass, I pray thee. Let us pass. You don't want us to pass. You don't want us to pass from the land to eternal life. Let us pass by the enemies and opposers. Listen to the opposition. Read. Yahushua, to thy country. Yahushua 24 and 1 afterwards. Yes. To thy country. Read. We will not pass through the fields or the vineyards. We will not pass through the fields or the vineyards. So he had to kill two kings on this side and 31 kings on the other side. Taking their crowns. Making a total of 33 kings. Making Yahshua king of all kings. Read. Neither will we drink of the water of the wells. Yes. We will go by the king's highway. Because Yahweh Elohim says that an highway shall be there. Because Yahshua is the way, the truth, and the life. And it's only the fear, or the, 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 the Yahweh fearing men that we go to, and the Yahshua fearing men. Read. We will not turn to the right nor hand or nor to the left. Yes. Until we have passed thy borders. Read. And Edom said unto him. So Edom is the red man. An opposer. The red dragon. A diamond was ready and he died. The red dragon died. Fear on his foes. Edom is the red man. He opposed Yahweh. Read. Thou shalt not pass by me. Just like he said, thou shalt not eat of the fruit. Thou shalt not pass. Thou shalt not serve Yahweh. That's what they be saying, you know, like to say that. Thou shalt not keep the covenant of grace. He said, thou shalt not pass. Read. But by me. By me. Lest I come out against thee with the sword. Who said that? Edom. Edom is brother in the household of Israel. Say that he's going to come out with his brother. <laughs> with a sword. He drew first blood. Yeah. Look what happened. He opposed Yahweh. So there is a penalty. 
Right. Don't pose here with Aaron Yashua. You don't think you're going to get away? No man is going to get away. Don't pose Yashua. No man. Who man is child to be because of my And they don't pose. And look at the penalty. Yahweh has a book of glory. You think you could do Yahweh? We don't run from demons. And, and we have won. They can win. We know that they have lost from the foundation of the world. Right. And Yahshua is always eternally victorious. But Yahweh raised Yahshua from the dead. And even in death, he's alive. Because he said, I am he that liveth. He was dead. And the old life my life forevermore. And listen to what happened. Yes. And the children of Israel said unto him, Yes. Where, where was I? Sorry. He said, I'll come out against you with the sword. Sword, verse 19. Yes. And the children of Israel said unto him, Yes. We will go by the highway. Yes. And if I and my cattle drink of thy water. All right. All right. I'll just quote the reason. All right. So you find out that in Isaiah 63, Isaiah 700 years was looking back and he said, Who is this that coming from Edom? in thy garment from Bozwa. Isaiah 35 and 4. Yahweh says, His soul is paid in, in heaven, and it shall come down upon the Edomites. Read that one. <laughs> Isaiah 700 years was speaking up. Because Yahushua beheaded them and decapitated their, their kings. Because why did he do that? And trampled them in his fury. They made him angry because they opposed him. Wow. We know what Isaiah 35. Yes, and 4. Verse 4. Yes. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. Yes. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And Isaiah all the okay, verse 5. Verse 5. Yes. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. My sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. It, it shall come down on the sea of Idumia, which is the sea of Idumans. So you see the penalty? To the pose Yahweh. So you might just be thinking you're not opposing Yahweh, but you really are. You really are. So he says, my sword, why did this sword came down and come down at the Israel and them? Because they oppose him. And they said that we will come out and then you with the sword. So it was time for them, just like when Moses was opposing Yahweh. And get me that in Genesis, Exodus 10 chapter. One day Yahweh called Moses and said, I'm going to send you out. Yeah, Moses started to argue with Yahweh. That's why when Yahweh and himself was to preach the gospel, we have to be obedient. We can take it up, take up things and ourselves and do our own things. It's just a matter of time. If Yahweh gives us something to do, Yahweh and we have to go and do it. You have to preach the gospel, preach the gospel, be obedient. Because eventually you will be opposing him. One day Yahweh said to Moses in Exodus, is in the 10th chapter or 4th chapter. And Yahweh said unto him that Yahweh had him is who made man know that he was going to send him to do something and he said to Yahweh, I cannot speak. I stutter. Chapter 4, verse 10. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. And Moses said unto Yahweh, Look at this opposition which you think is like. But to Yahweh, something great. Oh, my God. No. Yes. I am not eloquent. Pick up a verse, pick up a verse, quickly. That's it. Alright. Thou yes. since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow speech. So he said, Yahweh. And I was slow so, tongue. So Yahweh was sending Moses somewhere. Mm -hmm. And he said, I am slow of speech. Mm -hmm. And he had a slow tongue. Yeah. So Yahweh said to him, read on that. Oh, yeah, you yeah, 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 right. So I'll just quote the rest of it. So Moses started to tell Yahweh that he is not eloquent and he cannot speak. So Yahweh said, that is who made my mouth. But after that, Yahweh went down the, the road to slay Moses. Why Yahweh went down the road to slay Moses? Because Moses opposed Yahweh. Yeah. So he was showing that the same penalty for the opposition is death. And it was Zipporah who saw the angel with his sword drawn. And she had to circumcise his son and give him make up an atonement for Moses or an intercession for Moses. Get the part where verse 25 where the angel was at the sword drawn. You read the part where Moses was saying. Yeah, uh, verse 25. Yes. Then 
Zipper. Zipper. Took a sharp stone. And they were first dead. Oh. The angel first me. And I said unto thee, Yes. Let my son go that he may serve me. Mm -hmm. And if thou will choose to let him go, behold, I will say thy son, even thy firstborn. And it came to pass, yes. by the way in the inn, by the way in the inn, that Yahweh had met him, that Yahweh had met Moses, yes. and yes. sought to kill him. Yeah, yeah. Yahweh had met him and sought to kill him. Why? Exodus 5, verse 25. Yes. Then, then, Zippora, Zippora saw the angel, took a sharp stone, yes, and cut off the foreign skin of her son, of her son, and cast it at his feet, and, and cast said, it at the angel's feet. Surely a bloody husband are like thou. All right. So, you at Moses' feet. You, you see that? Circumcision. You see that? If you oppose Yahweh, the penalty is death. He opposed Yahweh and the angel went and was waiting on him down the road to slay him and Zephora saw the angel and uh, it, uh, it, the only thing could save him was a, a bloody intercession. Alright, so you finish there what you were reading with Kadesh. So in Isaiah now, Isaiah 700 years before, says who is this that's coming from Eden or Edom? That's the land of the Edomites. In thy garment from Bosra. Isaiah 63 verse 1. Yes. Who is this? That Who is this? From Edom. That coming from Edom. With thy garments from Bosra. With thy garment. Why is his garment dyed? With blood stain. What happened? That was the old shore. This. That is glorious in his apparel. And he says this that was is glorious in his apparel. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. I am not speaking righteous. So show him for that he's righteous. Mighty so he had to, to slay the unrighteous. He's mighty to save. And that's what he did. He was a savior to Israel. In, in, in Exodus 17, 10, when the, the, the Jebusite and the Italians opposed, Aaron and Aaron held up the Oshawa and Yahushua fighting out the opposers again. Those persons oppose him. And that spell Yah. So all those that were opposing were, they were in opposition to Yahweh, Elam and Yahshua. Yahshua. Because they were fighting against the men who held up Aaron and Ur. So you have the Moses and making the wife. A for Aaron and A for Ur. That spell Yah. So all those fighting against Yah is the opposer. Because when Moses and was heavy and it was coming down, those that were fighting, they were winning. But when they held up the Yah, so the only victory you can get is through Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. And this is showing the power in the name of Yahweh Elohim and the gospel. So everything came up through the gospel and in the name. Just like Moses received the name at the burning bush. And went down for the children of Israel, and they came out to a death burial and resurrection. So that's the name and the gospel that gave the children of Israel. So he got the name, and then they came out by the gospel. So that's death burial and resurrection. I said, John, don't go out of spirit for in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. So therefore, in Yahushua 24 chapter now, Yahushua was telling them, he was revealing who he was. Because he says that he started to speak, and he says, Your father. I took your father from the other side of the flood. Even Tira. That's what he said in Yahushua 24. <laughs> and they serve. And they serve Adam. When they build the golden calf back there, that was an opposition. When they murmur, that was an opposition to him too. And the same thing that they did back here is what happened in the garden. That's why when Moses went up in the vision, and he came down in the first chapter of Genesis. The vision was cut out before the transgression. It's when he went up in this third principle trip now that he realized. Because when he was coming down with the tables of stone, he walked start because he realized that Israel had disobeyed Yahweh. Because in Exodus 20, Yahweh said, Thou shalt not build any golden, any idol of any kind. And they built the idol. And he walks at and chewed on the tables of stone. And you find out that when he turned, because he was angry because he didn't see the transgression. But when he went up, he had an understanding why they built the golden calf, because the appearance sin. 
So they came in sin and iniquity does not the word. The psalmist David wrote that they were shaped in, in sin. And see in sin and iniquity. Psalm 51. Psalm 51. Yes. Verse 1. Yes, just show that this in the verse that says in sin. Yeah. In my uh, but they were conceived in sin and shaped in iniquity. So that's the reason why he knew that mercy upon me. Alright, yeah, I just quote. I just quote. Yes. According to the multitude of thy ten verse, blot of thy transgression. Verse five. five. Yes. Verse five. Behold, behold, I was shaped in iniquity. I was shaped in iniquity. And in sin. And in my sin. My mother conceived me. So this disobedient spirit, our opposing spirit. That's why it's saying Yahweh says, Yahweh being the generator, Adam being the e generator, and Yahshua is the regenerator. So the only forgiveness for that sin, and the only cleansing from that sin and that lies and that inherent wickedness Yashua. is Yahshua. Because that's why he went down for them because they couldn't deliver themselves. And that's why he came back for us. And that's why he said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am. You may be also, that is in righteousness, peace and joy in himself, who is the Holy Spirit. So you find out that in Isaiah he was saying, his garment was as the one trying the wine press. So he had a blood state garment. And that's why when Yahshua was on the cross, he was in a bloodiness because he had to fulfill that. And when he came, he said, For had you believed Moses, you would have believed me. For Moses wrote of me. So in the 24th chapter of Joshua, which is the 24th chapter of Yahushua, he started to say to them that um, I did this and I did that. Then he said, they presented themselves before Elohim. Elohim. So it is by the revelation of Yahshua. So he revealed himself to them. So it necessitated Yahshua now to reveal himself to us. <laughs> To redeem us from that inherent sin and lies and hypocrisy and darkness and the attitude of disobedience. So the only way we can be rid of that is by Yahshua's revelation in our heart. And that's where you're going to be te testimony and more. To you who are troubled. So we know today to be saved from the wrath of Yahweh as these people suffered back here all the way is to be obedient now to the gospel of Yahshua. So there, there is a way out. And Yahshua said he is that way. How of this destruction, death, hell, and the way. So everybody seeing, he said these things happen as an example. So then he says in the book of Timothy, take heed unto the things that are on that scripture. So now we have shown you how what happened back there, the penalty was there. The penalty is still there to be disobedient to Yahweh. Because Yahweh says, I am Yahweh and I change now. So he says, read those two scriptures. Second Thessalonians 1 verse 7. Yes. And to you who are troubled. So you might hear these things about the penalty for, for the destruction is dead. And might be troubled. But he said to you who are troubled, listen to the, the prescription now. What is prescribed? Rest with us. He said, rest with us. When Yahshua the Messiah shall when, be revealed from heaven. He said, when Yahshua the Messiah shall be revealed from heaven. With his mighty angels. With his mighty angels. In flaming fire. In flaming fire. Taking vengeance on them that know not Elohim. So vengeance was taken Pharaoh. Because he was ignorant. And all who disobeyed Yahweh. And even the Christians today who disobeyed Yahweh, vengeance will be taken on them. <laughs> and that obey not the gospel of our Savior. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so if you know, no, the pastor tells us that. If we don't keep ten commandment law, we will be punished. But Yahshua is saying something else. Yahshua did not say that. He says that if you don't obey the gospel, what is the gospel class? Death, 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 Yes, man, you know. You know the gospel. You know the gospel. You know, you know the gospel of Yahshua? What is it? Hallelujah. That's why Yahweh. Just it might make mistake, but the Holy Spirit doesn't make any mistake. Because Yahweh is a lizard of the earth. This is a sign. 
it says you must be truthful. So you know the gospel. But if you don't know the gospel, you cannot obey the gospel. So in order to be obedient to the gospel, you have to know it. Can you be obedient to something that you don't know? Disobedient. And we always ask the brethren, what is the gospel? Sometimes you're ready to say, ah, ah. You come to class 10, 20 years and you don't know the gospel. And he says, so show for that Christian, Christian God is teaching us the wrong thing. Right. They say, if you don't baptize in water, you will be punished. If you don't keep ten commandments, Lord, you will be punished. But it's not that, that's not what the Bible is saying. He's right. saying, if you don't obey the gospel. Right. So the emphasis is must be on the gospel. Because we don't the shedding of Yeshua's blood, there is no remission of sin. The bell has gone. Yeah. Sorry, God. <laughs> Um, he said, without the shedding of Yahshua's blood, there is no remission. So since we get remission and the forgiveness of sin through the preaching of the God, the penalty must come if you don't know, hear that. He never said it is the baptism is the preaching of the gospel, or the Sabbath is the preaching of the gospel. So what the pastor's interest is, Yahweh's interest is something else, because they have their own doctrine promoting which is lies in hypocrisy about Ten Commandments, law. So what about the blood of Yahweh that cleanses us from our sins? The emphasis must be on the blood. And that's why when Cain and Abel went before Yahweh to make an offering, the one that had the blood, he was he accepted it, and that was from the beginning. So without the shedding of Yahshua's blood, there is no remission of sins. And they're telling the poor at Rome right. and the poor at home oh, that no. they either come must come to in the gospel of Yahshua the Messiah. No man comes to the Father Yahweh but by Yahshua yeah, the Messiah. So any man who wants to be saved must come to Yahshua. That's why Yahshua came and said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness but at the light of eternal life. He says, I am the door. Everybody who came in came into this one door. He says, I am the way. You can tell me, say, same thing with me. He says, Yahweh has I exalted him and given him a name. Get sent to do what I have. You see that they are liars? Well, let's shut it down and be obedient to the day. First two. All right, just swap me up with those two scriptures and get color shots. Chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. Yes. Meditate upon these things. Yes. I said, holy to them, that thy property may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself. He said, take heed and all. Unto thyself. To thy unto thyself. First Timothy 4 16. Yes. Continue in the Continue. And unto the doctrine. And unto the doctrine of Yahshua the Messiah. Singular. Yes. King James Word. Alright. Continue in them. Continue in these things. They bear a resurrection of St. John. Blood water spread forth in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. And when they are Pentecost was fully come, they receive the gift of the Holy Spirit in the name of Yahshua. For in doing this, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself. So you continue the gospel of Yahshua the Messiah, you should save thyself. And them that hear thee. You see faith coming by hearing, and them that hear thee. Finish testimony and that. He said, Who shall be punished if they don't obey the gospel? That's where you are in Colossians. He said, To you who are troubled, rest with us. When Yahshua the Messiah shall be with you from heaven, mm -hmm. with his mighty angel, really. In flaming fire. In flaming fire. Taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh. So if you're ignorant, like the Christian, they don't want to know. That know not Yahweh. And obey not the gospel of our Savior. And obey Jesus. not the gospel. Listen up. You know, never say, Ten Commandment, that never say, Obey not the gospel. And if you're ignorant, read. Who shall be punished? This is what you'll be punished for. But when I ask the pastor, I tell a different thing. But mm -hmm. that I listen to the scripture, and what he's saying is nowhere in the Bible that you'll be punished for not water and you water baptized. That's not in the book. That you be punished for keeping for not keeping ten commandments and the ten commandments that was given to the Jews. And Yahweh, Yahshua the Messiah established in Romans 8 and 1, the law of the spirit of life, which is in Yahshua. Who is keeping us? We don't keep him. So what they're saying is no, we are in the Bible, it is not biblical, neither it is scriptural. They're liars. But this is in the Bible and we are reading it. That you be punished for not obeying the gospel. Ask the pastor, what is the gospel? He will say, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Did Matthew die for us? Did Luke die for us? But 1 Corinthians 15 is your over. It declares who the gospel is. It is the death, burial, and resurrection of Yahshua, the Messiah, in the name of Yahshua. So you have to know the gospel to be able to obey the gospel. And if you don't obey 
pay the penalties that again. Just like what fear and the was, but we show him, you know, we show him a solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. That Yahshua said, He is the way out of the problem. Mm -hmm. The truth and the life. No man coming to the Father but by Yahshua. One door, one wedding, one half of the one temple, one tabernacle, one Elohim, one name, one, name, one Savior, one everlasting name. Because Yahweh says in Isaiah 63 that his name is everlasting. So his son's name must be everlasting. Because right. one name and one family. So oh, my father's name is, is from Palmer all the way down. And then down the line, somebody say, no, it's not Palmer. It's something else. No, no, no. It's one name all that family name. Wrap me up now, that. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction? So if you, you will be punished? Me? From the presence of Yahweh. From the presence of Yahweh that happened to the Lucifer while he was cast out. And That's why the devil was cast out into the sea. Read. And from the glory of his power. And from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified. When he shall come to be glorified, which the universal revelation of Yahshua the Messiah is about to happen any minute soon. In his son. In his son. And to be admired in all them that believe. Yes. Because our testimony among you is believed in that day. So if you believe, you will get your reward. And great is the reward of Yahshua. You know that? We glorify our souls in peace, joy, and happiness in himself. All praises in the mystery which has been given is now revealed in our hearts. All praises go to Yahweh and the Son Yahweh. Um, Dr. Ross wife told me to say hi to everybody. Um, is there any visit in Virgin Islands?
on Fridays from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Let's stand forward that second. shall fall in our present as far as for the present of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Yahweh our Savior, Yahshua the Messiah, the glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and all the time. You say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah.